you could make a case for Meg Ryan as being among the top of the heap when it comes to the debate over who's the queen of the romantic comedy genre. Now, seemingly on a self-imposed sabbatical from acting for a number of years, the When Harry Met Sally star enjoyed some relaxation time on the beach in Montecito, which is east of the city of Santa Barbara, just over 90 miles north of Los Angeles. When she wasn't taking casual walks along the sand, Ryan laid back on a lounge chair and read David Duchovny's New York Times best-selling novel Miss Subways, 2018. Ryan, born Margaret Mary Emily Hyera, who will be celebrating her 60th birthday on November 19, showed off her lean figure in a grey skirt and white crop top. With the sun glaring down, the Connecticut native also donned a straw hat over her long blonde tresses, which fell well past her shoulders, and stylish sunglasses. For the most part, the actress kept to herself and appeared to be immersed in Dutch Ovni's Ms. Subways. The novel has been described as a darkly funny fantasy novel that follows one woman's trippy, mystical journey down parallel tracks of time and love. Ms. Subways is also a love letter to the city that enchants us all, New York. Ryan began her acting career in 1981 in minor roles before joining the cast of the CBS soap opera As the World Turns. Scoring supporting roles in such films as Amityville 3D, 1983, Top Gun, 1986, and The Presidio, 1988, she would eventually land her breakout leading role in the romantic comedy film When Harry Met Sally. 1989, directed by Rob Reiner and also starring Billy Crystal. It would go on to become a bona fide hit, and set Ryan off on a run of high-profile A-lister run of films, which included a slew of rom-com like Sleepless in Seattle, 1993, When a Man Loves a Woman, 1994, French Kiss, 1995, Addicted to Love, 1997, and You've Got Mail, 1998. In more recent years, Ryan has stepped out of the limelight, and away from acting. Her last credited role was the World War II era drama Ithaca, 2015, which she starred and made her directorial debut. But then, after feeling burned out on acting, she decided to take a break and try to enjoy other things life has to offer. I felt in a crazy way that, as an actor, I was burning through life experiences, Ryan told the New York Times in 2019, adding, I was burned out. I didn't feel like I knew enough anymore about myself or the world to reflect it as an actor. I felt isolated. She went on to share about the pros and cons of being a famous person in your younger years. You're at a disadvantage as a young, famous person because you don't know who's telling you the truth, she continued. In not complaining, there are so many advantages to being famous, but there are fundamental disadvantages for a part of your brain, yourself, your soul. My experiences were too limited, 